Hello again, I am Blunty. Look at me doing breaking news. I don't think I've ever done that before. Anyway, so Nintendo, are you listening? Are you paying attention? This is what inevitably comes from your arrogant, tight-lipped attitude about the simplest of basic user-facing details about the Nintendo Switch. Even when it's just two weeks from launch day, there's still so much you haven't even whispered about, let alone given us proper details. And frankly, anyone who didn't see this coming is a bit of a nitwit, of course it was going to happen. What I'm talking about is what you're seeing, just posted to VidMe, a video sharing service I've never even heard of, and posted directly from an Android phone, comes this video of the first boot setup procedure and very basic interface step through by someone called Hop the Robot, which is a fucking epic username. Oh, and the reason you're seeing it in this sort of screen-captured fashion is to encourage you to go over to the link which I've got in the description, to go over to the video of the actual guy who posted it, so he gets his props and views and exposure and whatnot. So if you want a clearer look at what's going on here, click on that link, go to his video. I'm not here to try and steal views from him. So, instead of an officially sanctioned, planned, detailed, informative, useful, well-shot walkthrough of this stuff, we now have a badly shot, one-handed, shitty phone cam earthquake simulator video of some dude clumsily, one-handedly flopping through the user interface because motherfucker doesn't know what tripods are for. Have we learned anything yet, Nintendo? Anyway, it's all pretty basic stuff here. The same kind of procedure you'd go through for setting up any phone or tablet or games console or whatever. You set the time, stuff like that. You connect to Wi-Fi, you make an account, blah, blah, blah. We also get to see the dark mode. I don't think there's been any leak shots of that yet. And the procedure for waking from sleep mode. Tap the same button three times. That seems like it might be easy to accidentally do in a bag. Yeah, hopefully there's another option. There's also, bewilderingly, an option to set TV output to 480p. Who the fuck is that for? Who the hell is still using SD CRT TVs for their bloody gaming? But the only really interesting or useful information that came from this video is the system memory report. While the Switch has 32 gigabytes of storage on board, it seems only 25 gigabytes of that is free for the user to use. The rest is absorbed by the operating system and related data, which is not surprising. We already see such disparity between advertised onboard storage versus what the user can actually use when they boot up the device when it comes to phones and all that kind of stuff. We knew the operating system had to take up some memory, we just didn't know how much. Turns out, a fair whack. But if that drop from 32 gigabytes you might have been expecting to 25 concerns you, I do have a super helpful video about how to choose the right SD card. Ha ha ha, cross promotion opportunity. <laughs> So here's hoping, at least, this prompts Nintendo to give us more official details very, very rapidly on this, because this is absolutely not going to be the only console that manages to get into someone's hands before the official launch. We're going to see more and more of this stuff as the next two weeks roll on. So Nintendo can either wait for random users to have an uncontrolled feed of this stuff, or they can step out in front of it and get some official details out there. Because there's still a big handful of information they are still hiding from users. Like, for example, the fuck is up with the Virtual Console? Your move, big red N. What you got? Thanks for watching. I am Blunty, and I'll catch you next time.